Welcome to the Canadian Hydrogen Convention's Hydrogen Plus series. I'm Rachel Gregory and joining us today is Shannon Halliday, VP of Sales and Marketing for HTech. Shannon, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Shannon, can you tell me a little about HTech and the company's role in the hydrogen value chain? At HTech, we really think of ourselves as the glue of the hydrogen value chain. We are actively involved in production projects, distribution, dispensing solutions, and we are one of the leading companies in Canada doing this. We also deliver engineering and design services and specialty products and solutions in the hydrogen industry. We like to think that we make zero emissions travel and transportation possible. HTEC seems to be aggressively expanding. How does that tie into the National Hydrogen Roadmap as well as BC's hydrogen strategy? The time for hydrogen is now. I've been involved in hydrogen for a number of decades now and the speed at which things are moving is, is incredible. It's very exciting. So we're developing Made in Canada solutions to support Canada to achieve its goal of meeting net zero by 2050. This helps Canada and BC position really the country and the province as industry leaders in clean technology. And the province has immediate priorities to scale up production of renewable hydrogen and establish regional hubs and help deploy further fuel cell vehicles. And HTEC, of course, helps enable all of this. Our network by the end of this year will be able to supply fuel for over 2,000 vehicles. And in fact, just in the last two years, our stations have enabled 183 fuel cell electric vehicles to be sold in the province. We have 17 stations that are in operation and in development at the moment in BC, Alberta, Quebec, and California, and many more in the works. And each station can support hundreds of vehicles, which will lead to tens of thousands of CO2 emissions reductions. Now, how do you see hydrogen's role in the path to carbon neutrality? Well, hydrogen is really part of the solution. It's not the only solution. We need all solutions. You simply cannot achieve this goal of carbon neutrality without hydrogen. And of course, you need the lowest carbon hydrogen to make that happen. And hydrogen electric vehicles are zero emission vehicles. We see a ton of interest from heavy duty trucking as well as fleet users, but also from individuals who may not have access to charging infrastructure or it doesn't suit their needs. How will clean hydrogen infrastructure expand over the next decade? You know, the industry now is moving at lightning speed. We really expect it to be a major fuel source in our everyday lives, as well as for an array of heavy duty and light duty vehicle applications. We see a number of countries around the world developing roadmaps and action is taken proactively to get hydrogen into the energy mix. At HTEC, we make sure that we're using the lowest carbon hydrogen available in any of the markets that we're working in. So in BC and Quebec, that's all hydrogen from electrolysis. And we're building a number of hydrogen production facilities in BC and in Quebec to fully move to our lowest carbon option. Commitment is to a net zero future, and we will continue to develop the lowest carbon hydrogen available in the markets where we work. Shannon, what are you looking forward to most about the Canadian Hydrogen Convention? And why do you think now is the time for people to be paying attention to hydrogen? For me, I started with HTEC in 2020, of course, in the middle of COVID. And so I'm really excited to get to meet up with industry people and see the excellent lineup of speakers that the conference has put together and the exhibits and to see how far we've come but most importantly, to make connections. I really feel that a conference like this brings together the best brains and some of the most proactive people and companies in the world into this space. And the chance just to have those side conversations or to set up meetings and really generate different ideas. I think that the time for hydrogen is now and we need to rapidly scale and deploy hydrogen infrastructure. And one of my favorites, Jane Goodall said, what you do makes a difference and you have to decide what kind of difference you want to make. And I think that HTEC and the industry have decided the difference that we want to make. And we're all 
you know, working at that. Thanks, Shannon. Now it's time for our H plus question. What is a special talent that you have? Well, I'd like to do a lot of abstract painting. Any of my paintings that I complete and get moved off into new homes, I like to make a donation to rewilding. So as David Attenborough said in one of his movies, rewilding is one of the great ways that we can help the, um, the planet. And so that's just another way I like to help and express some creativity. Thank you so much, Shannon. It was an absolute pleasure and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the conference this year. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you as well.